Lesson 15.1a, using a net, 3D shapes. A net is a two-dimensional pattern of shapes that can be folded into three-dimensional figure. Each shape in the net becomes a face, or surface, of a three-dimensional figure. So each of these nets have six squares for six faces and can be folded to make a cube. We can draw a net on graph paper. We can cut it out, then fold it along the inside lines. If we fold this along the inside lines, we'll make a cube. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but we'll make a little cube, just like this. This net made a cube when folded, and the cube has six faces or surfaces. We can see them. Notice that the word surface has the word face in it. A vertex on an angle or polygon is the point where the two sides intersect. So the vertex of an angle is right here. It's where this line and this line intersect. And the vertices of a three-dimensional figure are these corners. Here's a vertex. Here's a vertex. All the red dots are vertices of this rectangular prism. This line right here is an edge. Rectangular prisms and cubes have six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges. The net of a triangular prism may consist of two triangular and three rectangular faces, or it might have two triangular faces and three square faces. This would make a triangular prism. Pyramids are named by their base shape. If the base is a triangle, then it's a triangular pyramid. It will have four triangle surfaces. One, two, three, four. If the base is a square, then it's a square pyramid with four triangular faces and one square surface as the base. If it has a pentagon for a base, then it's a pentagonal pyramid with five triangular surfaces and one pentagon surface. The number of triangular surfaces in a net of a pyramid will depend on the shape of its base. This is the box that my dry erase markers come in. If I unfold it, it's a rectangular prism. We can see that it's got this for the side and this part for the side, and then it's got four rectangles coming across. See? That's a net. A cereal box is a net, and all kinds of boxes are nets. We're finished with the first part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, surface area of a pyramid. If you have an empty cereal box, or maybe an empty box from butter or from some bags of tea, you can try unfolding it to look at the net. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.